Hello everyone. So today we are going to study an important IHC marker, the epithelial marker cytokeratin. Cytokeratins are the most important markers used for the diagnosis of epithelial neoplasms. They are intermediate filaments that constitute major cytoskeletons of epithelial cells. Cytokeratins, they are complex family composed of more than 20 subtypes and they are divided into 20 types. Epithelial cells almost always express one or more subtypes of keratin, white spectrum anti-keratin antibodies and cocktails that is mixture of antibodies. They are used as universal epithelial markers. So as we know we have 20 types of cytokeratins K1 to K20 and there are two main basic they are divided into two basic types type 1 and type 2. Type 1 are acidic keratin and type 2 are basic keratins. So often cytokeratins from the acidic group are paired with their basic counterpart such as CK10 with CK1, CK11 with CK2, CK8 with CK18. So acidic they are paired with the basic counterparts. So they are divided into 20 groups or subtypes depending on acidic keratin and basic keratin. K1 to K8 they are basic keratins and K9 to K20 they are acidic keratins and they have different molecular weights low molecular weight and high molecular weights. So K9 it is present on normal tissue epidermis of palm and sole. K1 and K10 on the epidermis and keratinizing squamous epithelia. K2 and K11 they are also present in squamous epithelium and epidermis. K3 on cornea. K4 and acidic counterpart K13 they are seen in non-keratinizing squamous epithelium of internal organs. K5 or cytokeratin 5 and cytokeratin 14 they are present in basal cells of squamous and glandular epithelia, myoepithelia and mesothelium as well as on squamous epithelium. K15 is present in squamous epithelium. K6 and K16 they are seen in squamous epithelium. K7 and K17 basal cells of glandular epithelia and myoepithelia. K18 and K8 they are seen in simple epithelia and paget cells. K19 in simple epithelia, most glandular and some squamous epithelia and paget cells. K20 it is seen in simple epithelia of intestines and stomach as well as in Merkel cells and umbrella cells of urothelium. So we have 20 subtypes of keratins, cytokeratins K1 to K20. They are further divided into acidic group and basic group. Type 1 acidic and type 2 basic keratin. So in this picture you can see the anti-keratin antibody used AE1. AE3. They are used for keratin 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19 and AE3 for cytokeratin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. AE1 and AE2 they are usually used together. AE1 and AE3 they cross react with GFAP. Hepatocellular carcinoma, renal cell carcinoma, adrenal cortical carcinoma, prostatic adenocarcinoma, neuroendocrine carcinoma, they may show weakly positive AE1 or AE3 staining or negative. Another antibody for cytokeratin is 
CAM 5.2. It is seen in cytokeratin 8, 18 and 19. KL1, it is expressed in cytokeratin 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 14, 16, 17 and 18. They also cross react with GFAP like AE1 and AE3. MNF116, it is expressed by cytokeratin 5, 6, 8, 17 and 19. Max 6, 6 by 14, 15, 16, 18 and 19. Cytokeratin Oscar, it is expressed by cytokeratin 7, 8, 18 and 19. An important point about is, about it is, it does not cross react with GFAP. So, cytokeratins, pancytokeratin, they express as cytoplasmic positivity. They are seen as cytoplasmic positivity. Mean diagnostic use is for screening of epithelial neoplasms and they are present in epithelial and myoepithelial cells. We are talking about the pancytokeratin markers and the positive control is appendix and tonsil. This is the cytokeratin positive photograph showing the cytoplasmic posit positivity in the epithelial cells. So, we know that cytokeratins, they are basically diagnostic for the epithelial tumors. So, epithelial cells, they are positive for cytokeratins, but there are some diagnostic pitfalls. In other tumors also, cytokeratin is expressed like in mesothelial cells and mesothelioma, smooth muscle, smooth muscle tumors, meningiomas, chordoma, epithelioid sarcoma, synovial sarcoma, desmoplastic small round cell tumor, angiosarcoma, a small subset of alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma, clear cell sarcoma, subset of germ cell tumors, nerve sheet tumors, rhabdoid tumor, malignant melanoma, undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma, proliferating myofibroblast, anaplastic and diffuse large cell lymphomas and plasma cell neoplasms. So, as we have already known that there is diffuse positivity, cytoplasmic posit positivity in cytokeratins in epithelial tumors. But in case of sarcomas or other tumors that show positivity, it will be patchy and dot-like positivity rather than diffuse positivity. Now, we will discuss some important subtypes, cytokeratin 5. Main diagnostic use of cytokeratin 5 is in squamous cell carcinoma, mesothelioma and mesothelial tumors. So, it is basically for squamous cell carcinoma and mesothelioma, but it can also be expressed in other tumors like in myoepithelial cells in prostatic and mammary glands. Basal like phenotype breast carcinoma and adenocortical tumors. Recently, CK5 with 14 combination is frequently replaced by P16 and P40 that highlights the nuclei of myoepithelial basal cells of glands, basal and intermediate squamous epithelium, and urothelium. The positive control for CK5 is tonsil. Now, cytokeratin 6. Main diagnostic use is again for squamous cell carcinoma, but it, it can also be expressed in other tumors like in poorly differentiated breast carcinoma that is basal like phenotype and normal it is expressed in normal cells like supra basal cells, hair, shaft, nail. The positive control used is tonsil. It is used in routine IHC as cocktail with CK5. So, CK6 is used in combination with CK5. Now, cytokeratin 7. Cytokeratin 7, the main diagnostic use is in adenocarcinomas. CK5 and 6 were for squamous cell carcinoma, but 7 is for adenocarcinomas of lung, salivary glands, GIT, pancreas, biliary tract, breast and endometrium. 
In addition to adenocarcinomas, transitional cell carcinomas, they also show positivity for cytokeratin 7 in addition to ovarian serous tumors. But they can also be expressed in thyroid carcinomas, renal cell carcinoma, that two of papillary and chromophobe type, mesothelioma, synovial sarcoma and Merkel cell carcinomas. The positive control used in cytokeratin 7 is appendix. It is expressed in normal cells of GID, salivary gland, biliary tract, FGT, transitional epithelium, mesothelial cells, thyroid follicle cells also and endothelia. Cytokeratin 8 or TPA, tissue polypeptide antigen. It again is used in cases of adenocarcinomas. So, it is diagnostic importance is in adenocarcinoma of lung, GIT, pancreas, biliary tract, breast, endometrium. In addition to adenocarcinomas, it is positive in transitional cell carcinoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, renal cell carcinoma, prostatic carcinoma and neuroendocrine carcinoma. It is also expressed in some other tumors like amyloblastoma, leomyosarcoma and malignant rhabdoid tumor. The positive control used is appendix. Cytokeratin 10 is used for squamous cell carcinoma. It is also expressed in breast ductal carcinoma and the positive control used is tonsil. It is used in cocktail with CK13 and 14 as a marker for squamous cell carcinoma. CK13 again for squamous cell carcinoma and used in combination with CK10 or 14 as a marker of squamous cell carcinoma. CK14 again for squamous cell carcinoma and in addition basal cell carcinoma and other cell tumors also expressed in myoepithelial cells in prostatic carcinoma and basal like phenotype breast carcinoma. It is frequently used cytokeratin 34 beta E12 to stain myoepithelial cells react with CK1, 5, 10 and 14. CK18 is again used for adenocarcinomas of lung, GIT, pancreas, biliary tract, breast, endometrium and transitional cell carcinoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, renal cell carcinoma and neuroendocrine carcinoma. It is also expressed in leomyosarcomas and cordoma. But remember endothelial cells of lymphatics and small vessels, they are also positive for CK18 that mimic the intravascular spread. The positive control used is appendix. Now the cytokeratin 19, the main diagnostic use is again for adenocarcinomas of lung, GIT, pancreas, biliary tract, breast, endometrium and also transitional cell carcinoma is positive. It is also expressed in neuroendocrine tumors and papillary thyroid carcinoma along with mesothelioma. Now cytokeratin 20, main diagnostic use is adenocarcinomas of GIT, the colorectal carcinomas. So it is positive in colorectal carcinomas endocarcinoma of pancreas, extrahepatic and bile duct system. Another important tumor is mucinous ovarian tumors. In addition to colorectal carcinoma, the mucin, mucinous ovarian tumors, they are positive for cytokeratin 20. It is also expressed in Merkel cell carcinoma, mucinous pulmonary adenocarcinomas, hepatocellular carcinomas and transitional cell carcinomas. That's all in the cytokeratins. Thank you.